take two. Uh, I'm Sandy. <laughs> I'm really messed up right now. Okay, because I'm, I'm just, my brain's not working. I just finished doing like 10 minutes of this video and realized I didn't have my mic on. And, uh, oh, so I have to redo it. Let me explain. So what had happened was, as Seta would say, I got into a car accident this morning. I'm okay, I think. Uh, but what happened was I was at a red light. There was a bunch of cars in front of me. I was stopped. Uh, I happened to look in my rear view mirror and there was a motorcycle behind me. He stopped. The Mercedes Benz behind him didn't. Um, hit the bike. The bike hit me. Motorcyclist was down. Um, I, frankly, I lost my shit. I, <clears throat> I couldn't even get out of my car. I was so shaken up. I was just, it, I just thought, oh my God, he's dead. He's got to be dead. And, um, he got, the Mercedes Benz guy got out of his car and then there was a whole, all of a sudden there was a rush of people that came and that were taking care of him. I was on the phone with 911. Um, I couldn't even remember how to work my phone. I was such a basket case. Um, so I gave them all the information. And surprisingly, the fire firemen got there really quickly. Uh, and then the ambulance shortly followed. The police took the, the longest. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, um, the the guy he was laying on the ground they were talking to him so i knew that he was he was able to speak um and i just there were so many people around i just stayed in my car and um let them take care of the guy <clears throat> um i heard that he hurt his shoulder uh because he must have landed pretty hard on the on the cement so but other than that i don't know um the police officer that came and talked to me i asked if he was okay and he said he'll be fine um you know he's got some injuries but you know he should be okay yeah he says are you okay and i says i'm a basket case right now he says just breathe and i was like i'm trying he says i know it can be you can get pretty shaken up over it and i says yeah i said it wouldn't have bothered me so much if it was another car because at least you have the car around you to protect you um but i'm always conscious of motorcycles um and I'm always, every time I stop my car at a light or whatever, I'm always looking in the rear view mirror to see if the person behind me has stopped. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was just, happened in slow motion for me. Uh, freaked me right out. So anyways, I called and I put in a claim and I now... <clears throat> waiting to get into get my car looked at the whole corner of the back of my car on my side on the driver's side is smushed and uh, the lights and everything are broken and so <clears throat> yeah so anyways i gotta go and find out if they're gonna write off my car or they gonna fix it i just got that car too damn it Ah. Uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm okay. My lower back's a little sore and I have a headache, but I don't know if that's just from the stress of it all or if it's pre-existing from my back injury. And like, I don't even know if I lurched forward or I have no, I can't, I can't remember. 
So tomorrow I'll wake up and see how I feel. Um, I have that guilt, you know, that, no, I'm okay. He's in worse shape thing, you know. Uh, and I'm thinking, how, how much could I possibly get injured? I got hit by a motorcycle, not a car. You know, so George is like, no, 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 no. We're going to make sure that you're okay. Right? He's worried about me. And uh, I'm just like, you know, he has a worse day than I, than me. So I'm more worried about him. You know, so, and he's, George says, and I'm more worried about you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So anyways, uh, that was my morning. <laughs> and to top it off, the motorcycle, his license plate ends in 666. Yeah. That was a little jarring for me. <clears throat> so I was just like, wow. All right. Moving on. <laughs> um, so anyways, that was that. What else? Um, I watched the replay of Sandy at Left is Right Crochet's channel, uh, her live. <sighs> See, guys, my brain's just not even functioning right now. Um, anyways, she is doing something that's really cool. She's making dog blankets for her local police canine unit. Uh, and I think she's got 12 or 14 dogs that she's got to make blankets for. Good luck, sister. Um, so I thought I'm going to check out my local canine unit and see what I've got here. I have four. <laughs> so I'm like, I can do that. <laughs> so they're, um, they're four males. And their names are Luca, Herc. I'm assuming that's for Hercules. Knight and Luther. And uh, so I'm going to be making the blankets for them. I'm going to see if maybe I can find dog beds that, you know, aren't going to cost me an arm and a leg. Some toys and some treats and make it a gift pack. So this is the one I'm working on right now. I'm using um, Serenity Big Marl um, for my premiere. Oops. And this is brick. And I've also used the black one, black and white one, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, so, uh, ah! hold that thought. Sorry about that. The pizza guy came. <laughs> I actually totally forgot that I ordered pizza. Because um, <clears throat> I am not cooking, like, after today. No. I'm just going to try and chill out, maybe have a drink and relax. <laughs> anyways, so anyways, I'm, I, I sent um, Sandy a message and said, how big are you making your blankets? Because, you know, most police dogs, I think, are German shepherds, shepherds um, or something of that size. So <clears throat> I think she said 46 by 46 she was doing. So I don't know. I'll have to figure that all out so yeah it's now I've got to make three more and then get the gift packs together and yeah take them to the police station so that's going to be fun um what else um oh something is going on with people's channels that are fairies for the Christmas and July fairies. Um, make sure, go into the, to, I'll leave the link below, uh, above <coughs> of my Christmas and July fairies video. Make sure that your comment is still there. Because apparently, um, some people are having their comments removed and YouTube is like glitching somehow. Dana says that everything's fine that we don't have to worry about it. So I trust her. Um, and, but they're deleting comments for some, and they're, I don't know if they're thinking it's spam or what's going on, but like we never had this problem last year. So I don't know what's happening. 
One thing I do notice though, is there is somebody that's gone on my, um, in my comments and they're saying hi to everybody. And, um, their name was Andrew something. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so that person I think is spamming. So I don't know. I, I went in and I blocked that person and I've deleted the comments. So just go in and make sure that your comment is still there because I, I want you to be able to still be part of the, um, the giveaway. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, and also don't cut and paste your comments to, from one to one, um, fairy video to an, uh, another put in an actual comment because I think that's also a problem that's going on is if you're cutting and pasting the same comment in all these videos, I know it's easier, but, uh, YouTube may also think that's spamming. So make sure that when you go in, even if you go, hi, whatever, you know, blah, 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 just, just a little comment just to say, you know, and I'll, I will heart your comments. Okay. I go through all the comments and I heart them. Okay. So just make sure that yours is there. I know it's a pain in the butt because now you got to do it on all the videos. Ugh. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's going on. Um, what else? I don't know, guys. I can't even think of anything. Um, I'll show you a little video clip of my car. <laughs> yeah. So that's about all I have to tell you. I think my brain is just fried at the moment. I'll keep you posted on how I'm doing. Um, I'm sure I had stuff to tell you. Oh, um, Miss Hootie Hootenin is having a challenge. Uh, and I'm going to put her link down below. Go check it out. Um, she's, she comes up with the coolest stuff, right? She's having this challenge, her and her husband, um, they pick three colors and, uh, we have to make something, whatever it is out of those three colors. Some of them are sparkle colors. So, um, and you have to do either team Mr. Hootenin or team Mrs. Hootenin, right? And then they have giveaway, they have gifts, um, for the winner. So, uh, I think Mr. Hootenin is giving away a hundred dollar gift certificate to Amazon and Mrs. Hootenin is giving away a $75 gift, uh, gift card from Amazon and some yarn, a box of yarn and stuff. So, um, yeah. So go check it out. Go get involved. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, so, you know, of course I got to go with my girl, Mrs. Hootenin. I, I have to. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Girls rule. Boys drool. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'll show you when I've completed what I'm making. I'm not fond of what I'm making. Um, the colors that I, I, the, the shades that I, I chose, I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. But I'll show you that when I am finished. Um, yeah, so that's about it for now. And, uh, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. I love you all. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. All right. Bye. Okay, guys, here it is. So my bumper is completely dislodged. And uh, <clears throat> my lights smashed. And then got all that damage down there. <clears throat> and then I think the handlebars or something of the motorcycle hit here. So, yeah. 
so choked. <sighs> Bummer. 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 My poor car. <laughs> but I just hope the motorcyclist is okay. That's the biggest thing that matters. Uh, this this can all be fixed. But, you know, his life means something. And I'm just really hoping that he's okay. Okay. <laughs>